Now, this next section would be the vitamins and the mineral level in your blood. Comprehensive blood work should also include an evaluation of your vitamin and mineral levels, with a particular focus on vitamin D deficiencies. Vitamin D deficiencies are becoming very, very common these days, whether you're somebody with a low melanin content or a high melanin content, depending on where you live, it can affect how much vitamin D you're producing. We know that today with people spending so much time indoors, specifically at work, trust me, I spend a lot of time indoors in the winter and sometimes just in the spring too, believe it or not, just with my job, right? Being an engineer and all. And having lower levels of other vitamins can trigger telogen effluvium. And also it's being found that it can cause cases of alopecia areata for people who have a genetic basis for it. So I'm kind of just saying that really quick because I don't want to make this video longer than it has to be. But just hear me out here. You want to just get your vitamin and mineral levels checked, not even just for hair loss, but just for the purpose of making sure your body is optimal. If not, then you would have to get supplementation and possibly look into eating a proper diet. But today, it's so hard to get a perfect balanced meal with all the nutrients you need just because of how busy we are, just because many of us, we live in, you know, cities and, you know, uh, so-called progressed parts of the world, Western world, first world countries, but we have these issues nevertheless.